Lal Vikramathunga is waiting for justice. Twelve years ago, his younger brother Lasanta was killed. It was not the first time he had been targeted. But investigators have told courts that military intelligence operatives carried out the attack that killed him. Lasanta had been through tough times before. He was attacked, he was assaulted, his house was shot at, his, he was waylaid and assaulted. So many cases filed. But he didn't feel, frankly, at the beginning that they would kill him. But they did. Men on motorcycles followed him from his home to office in a military-style operation that left the journalist with a fatal head injury. It was right here on this crowded street in Colombo that Vikramathunga was brutally murdered in broad daylight, a short distance from a major air force base. In the 12 years since his killing, there are still more questions than answers. Vikramathunga's Sunday Leader newspaper published regular exposés highlighting corruption. But a story on massive kickbacks from a deal to buy MiG aircraft implicating then Defence Secretary and now President Gotabe Rajapaksa, drew angry reactions. Vikramathunga was due to give evidence in that case when he was killed. The motto of his Sunday Leader newspaper was unbowed and unafraid, an approach he followed. Just two days before he was killed, he made these comments reacting to an attack on a local TV station. We as media personnel will have to face up to this challenge. This is not the first time uh, media organizations have come under attack and it certainly won't be the last. But we as media personnel must face up to this challenge, not be bowed down what, under whatever threats and intimidation and unitedly face this threat. Vikramathunga's family and media colleagues have criticized the slow pace of investigations. But the government's Minister of Public Security told Al Jazeera that justice would be served. Definitely, justice will be done and the culprits will be uh, taken for books, right? If somebody has done a wrong thing as per the Buddhist theory, right? Uh, uh, it says that even if you were out at sea, you in the space, right? Even inside a cave, right? You can't, uh, uh, you can't escape. So that is the Buddhist philosophy. So I also believe in that. After years of delayed justice, international media organizations have organized what they're calling a People's Tribunal, an event in the Netherlands calling attention to the murder of journalists in Sri Lanka, Syria and Mexico. Lal Vikramantunga says the truth will come out only if there is political will. Mila Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.